Hello guys, good morning, good morning, it's me again Ryan and I'm back with a really bad day trading recap. I don't know what to say. Um, out of words, but today I kind of like re average almost hulk out, but I'm so glad I stopped out um, here, uh, you know, to stop my losses. And then it reverse back. So uh, today I was watching Neo and XPIF and CAN. Neo was bad. Uh, XPIF saved the day. All good trades in XPIF, but it could have been really, really nice profit if this continued here. I was really, really tempted to short it here again. This was heavy size, really, really heavy size. I kept adding and adding, but, but you know, it's fine. Short it here. Took profit. I realized I was in sim at this point. I'll I'll show you later. Um, and took it long after realizing it's I'm in sim. I have a level here. See if, if you look at expert, I have levels. If you look at Neo, I have no levels at all. I have one level here to short thirty five fifty. That's it because I was really short bias. I was hoping this will go to thirty two ninety one like here at this area here that's where i would want to buy everything or maybe took it for a reversal i was wrong today i was wrong always look for levels 38.63 so that's there's a level in here so there's a level in here yeah so 38 area was actually the price it was holding or pre-market pre-market high yeah i yeah this day's probably happen like even though sometimes we have experience this things happen i was actually even like re-averaging i thought it's gonna hold 36 I even added even added again let's look closely and look at that three ads normally it should just be at least two ads and then stop out if it makes a new high of day. Like I should have stopped out at 36 here and just re-enter in case it confirms. But I did not stop out. So that was it. Like I was kind of heavy here now. So I I was green here when I saw it. Like I was I was taking profit here. And I said, oh, it's gonna continue. It's gonna continue 3550. Probably here, then 35, right? And then it squeezes again. Uh, so I took most of my profit here, but I still have some left. So I said, okay, I'm going to add one more. Probably here. Let's see how it goes. Because there's a previous day low, I think. This is previous day low. Um, yeah, so that that's that one. Previous day low. So I add it in there. And it squeezes back again. Add it. And I said, oh my god, what am I doing? Since I have still have shares left here, I still it's still big enough. Because this was a heavy size, right? Shorted, shorted, and I just stop out. Okay. I said, I'm done for the day. I'm not going to trade. Let's leave my desk. I have to leave my desk. But I did not so at this point i should be stopping trading if i'm gonna follow my rules because this is probably to our loss even though i got some some here i was green here but because of the shares i have left and then i gave everything back with a to our loss or more than two per two percent loss of course yeah so, um and then i moved to xpev so what happened was I was having really FOMO, I was really, really mad. I was really aggressive at XPEV. I said, okay, XPEV is now going to reverse. So I have level here, that's my target, right? Max will be somewhere here or somewhere here. Like really, really, so when I added my max will be just somewhere here. And then it dropped. I realized that I was trading in SIM at this point. So what happened is my level two, uh, my order templates is defaulted to SIM. 
because normally when I log in, I do hotkey mistakes or I press enter, or you know, sometimes I realized I have a position without knowing I entered a position. So I always lock my montage here. I always lock it. And after that, every time I change, every time I change to a ticker, this will go to SIM or SIM account because you know, let's say maybe I'm not sure right so it's also good to remind you that you know when you're switching uh when you're switching tickers it will remind you that are you sure you know something like that so i'll show you an example so let's say when i switch this to neo like that this will i have to remove my account number this will remove this will go to the sim but if i s yeah yeah so yeah like that i can't really explain it properly english is not my first language <laughs> but i hope you get it so when i moved to xpiv it switched to sim i was getting filled really really fast i didn't even realize it so i shorted here shorted it shorted i was getting really i was getting filled really really fast took profit took profit i said yeah yeah back to break even so it's really heavy here really tight stop i realized i was in sim and then i moved it uh see as you can see here oh sorry about that yeah see so that was the expert trade short so that was a short that was in sim and the long was this this was a long that was that's real account and then I reshorted it here. I shorted it here. It's this one. Yeah. I'm so dumb. And look at that. I was really tempted to reshort it here again, but I just can't do it because I don't want to go back to, to red today. I don't have the guts to trade because, you know, I've like, I was scared, but I was all right. Uh, on XP, I've shorted this, took profit, I was right, took it long, so that was the long, took it long, I was right, I was all out, short, short, really heavy because I need to be green. I was even scared that I thought it's really gonna go shoot up 32, but I have a level here that I need to trust. I did not trust my level, I was all out. Uh, so the level I have here, I should have trusted it and reshorted it but it's fine i'm green for the day i could could have been a really really nice green day if, if i didn't if this wasn't a a sim so you know something to learn from there it's all good i'm having headaches right now and look at that look at that move that was the move that i wanted like this 30 50 or even 31 but i decided to just bail out and because i was green I'll just move on and do it tomorrow. So today was just half hour. So I, I kind of reached half half hour goal or half a percent. So Neo, so every time I switch, as you can see here, oh, sorry about that. Like that, right? You can see that. And when I switch a stock, it will go back to SIM so i always have to because i have a i have a i have a montage on my right side here that i don't have to keep changing the ticker it's only this one the main one i have to keep changing the ticker <coughs> but if i double click the positions here if i double click here it won't go to, to sim if i double click my position here because it's connected to my level two like here if i double click here uh it will go to to me to this level two but it won't go to sim so because i, I since i changed it to manually to expev then i went to sim uh yeah it was a really weird day every day we're learning it's crazy uh yeah just uh you know what to do uh, subscribe to my channel and follow me in my social media accounts and <clears throat> yeah and let's watch my mess as you can see here market is about to open let's fast forward this really really fast 
So on the side, I was watching CAN. I was actually mainly watching CAN, Neo, and XPF. I was kind of scared to trade Neo, but I still traded it. I was so as you can see here, right at the open, nine hundred thousand volume, one point two million. What's this? Um, no volume. Let's look. Because I thought it's gonna just hold and go back to 35.50 and then reverse back. That's what I was thinking. Like in my mind, I've seen that so many times. I've seen that so many times. It's just, it didn't work today. So I shorted it here, starter, as you can see. <clears throat> and I said, and it was just moving too fast. I even added. I should have I should have taken it one minute orb and then risk somewhere at 3750. Okay, average is 91 at this point right here. I yeah, and I said, "Oh my god." And I added again. So at this point <clears throat> Yeah, okay, I said, okay, okay, let's see, let's see how it goes. Uh, I said, okay, at this point, I'm going to stop out at, the, at here. So I took profit because, man, look at that. It was a good profit already. At this point, it was a good profit. This is, after adding this three, my average is now at here. So this is actually one R. I should have taken everything in here. I thought it's really going to continue. I thought it's really gonna continue here. I even held 36. I should have stopped out right here at 36 dollars, or at break even at least. If I step out of break even, I could have free shorted it here. Yeah. So I still have half of my shares here. I took half in here, so that was the half profit. So I added again. I was confident because I I'm seeing that week wick, and the previous day, previous day close. Okay, previous day close, and that my stop. You see that that was my max stop. You will see that it's automatic, and I canceled it and I added. Okay, I said okay. It's kind of hovering. <coughs> I said it should drop, but I'm 40 cents away. My average is 47 right here. Uh, I stopped out. So, kind of respected my stop actually. So, that was good. So, at this point, I was red. Not a lot, but you know, something we can recover tomorrow or the next two days. But still, you know, there's, there's this feeling that. It's weird. So at this point, I said, um, I need to stay away from Neo. I was really, really tempted to short it again here. Like here. This indecision candle in here. Like, I know you're judging me right now, but, well. See, that's when I switched. When I switched, it went to Sim. I should have traded it on my right side, on my right side. Uh, what's this? On my right side, uh, level two, not here. When I switch it here, I get filled right away. And this was in Sim. Oh. I didn't even realize it was Sim after, I wasn't even looking at my, uh, my position. I was just looking at the price action really really focused because uh i need i need to gain back and i said okay what am i doing why am i trading again i should stop trading because neo neo squeezes me and there's 31 in there i said i'm gonna add so risking here so really tight look at those 50 cents 50 cents so i i need to make 15 cents at least so there you go that was the that was the move that i wanted so if it goes here, I'll be back in green. If it goes back here, I'll be 
back in green there you go took most of it because that was a heavy size 50 cent move that was great 50 cent move three of them that's great and then i said i looked at my net pnl why am i still red oh my god i was trading in sim so i took it long so this at this point this is now a live this was the live account so i took it long i'll be risking some here i was aggressive i was just i'm gonna take it long i'm really really mad look at that i was just trading i even added so i just need probably i don't know man i'm gonna stop out <laughs> somewhere here at 50 that's what i've been telling myself if it goes to 50 i'm gonna stop out so i just need i don't know 15 cents there you go so that was the good profit 30 cents good profit another good profit i'm looking at my pain the pnl we're really close to break even now and i said ah oh, is it going to stop me oh i'm actually all out so that was good so we're really close to at this point i was really really close to because i just need like a quick profit right i need a quick quick scalp for me to go to break even so imagine if this two were good trades could have been a really really nice uh, recovery but and i wasn't even reading reading the levels of the lines or the areas i was just looking at round numbers 30 50 31 i'm gonna trade within those levels and look at that it could have been better it could have been a nice profit too but i should have held because i just i just need to get a good profit that's why i was really early there and i said okay it's right at high of day let, let me start shorting it again again risking 50 cents added i'll be risking 25 cents let's see how it goes oh my god at this point i regretted doing this that was my risk there i should have stopped out in there i said if it goes to 88 i even added so at this point it's just revenge trading i i admit it was just reverse revenge trading because i was really close to break even and i can't accept the loss so average cost is 3150 right here that's my average cost my target is just this 31 if it gives me 31 50 cent move i'm i'll be in a good shape let's fast forward this a bit and this is now live uh this was the sim this was live live because i'm at the same level too that i was entering my orders i even added oh my god so i need probably 12 cents at this point i need oh my god that pop scared the heck out of me i said okay there's volume someone's dumping their shares here it's either someone's dumping or someone's buying it here so i held look at that i was really quick i was really proud so we're back in green at this point so i took half yes i took half i was really fast i was like i'm so happy i took that and it's back here i said oh my god if i stopped out here i'll be still being green so i'm green here now at this point since i haven't closed my trade i'm still green i said i'm gonna wait for 30 area and i'm gonna take more profit in there and just bail out and just be happy stay green so yeah i took some more off <clears throat> because i thought it's really gonna reverse 30 area is the level I still have some shares left and I decided to just stop out and break even. And at this point, I'm green net and green realized. But net after commissions, just very, very tiny. But I'm really happy. I'm I'm okay. I'll, I'll accept. I'll accept that. Normally, I should be stopping trading, but this is a sign where you will 
not blow up but maybe you know lose more if you don't know how to control yourself like what i did here see it went back to 32 i was really happy i said i'm so happy i was out here <clears throat> Yeah, so at this point, it's kind of holding 32. I said, should I short it? Maybe not. See, you don't see orders at 32. So there's probably, you don't see big orders. There's probably a hidden seller here. Every time it pops, they will short it. Or every time they pop, they will sell it. <clears throat> I was scared because there's a volume here. So I was kind of scared to uh, trade that short. But this was a good entry actually, 75. Risking 32. Imagine we were trading it 30, 75. There you go. Someone's buying it here. I can see it. So probably take profit at 40. 150. There you go. Take some more off in there. Let's see if it breaks 50. Okay, it's back to 60. Imagine we took 75. Let's say we just took 75. It's going to break. Yep, there you go. Take some more off in there. Come on, 40. It's going to go to at least try this again. 30 area. There you go. Take some more off. That was my trading there. Next will be, will be 31 or 31.10. There's a pullback. That's normal. If it holds 50, it's going to continue if it holds 50. Now it's 40, right at 40, 39. That was a really good short there. I just can't do it because it might have been a red day. <laughs> yeah so yeah that's about it uh, it was really weird day but you know something we can learn from i hope you guys like that video like you see me kind of hulking out or revenge trading but i'm only human i'm only human so you know thank you for watching subscribe for more updates and follow me in my social media accounts and see you guys i i'm thinking not trading tomorrow maybe i will not trade tomorrow because it's been a great week i probably don't want to trade tomorrow hmm. if you don't see me tomorrow then yeah maybe i won't be trading tomorrow let's see how's the market tomorrow it looks like it's selling off i bought some spy today uh right at the bottom 34 84 384 area <clears throat> yeah so i bought some spy for swings i bought it somewhere here uh yeah it's a, it's a good profit now just like that um yeah oh i wasn't showing it but yeah it's fine see you guys tomorrow and have a good day